Well, because my well, it's all to another redo of an older playthrough. So, a few years ago, I tackled this little game called Zoid's Battle Legends. And, um, originally I did it to commemorate the release or announcement of Zoid's Wild. Because, of course, Zoid's had been dead for over a decade, so... So, it only makes sense to do something to commemorate its return. Well, let's just say a lot has changed since that original playthrough. Uh, for one thing, my views on this game have definitely shifted since then. So, but we'll get there when we get there. So, Battle Legends has a couple different modes we can select from. Tournament mode, story mode, versus mode, Zoid's Fist and the settings. So just like in the original playthrough, uh, I'll be doing tournament mode first. And then from there, I'll be doing the story mode. So let's begin. As you can tell, I did a bit of a practice recording before this. So let's start fresh. Alright, so in tournament mode, you're able to select between different characters from uh, the first two Zoids animes, Chaotic Century and New Century Zero. So, there's that. And for the record, the main character and the rival character are the best characters to use in tournament mode, by the way. So keep that in mind. But the real appeal to tournament mode occurs when we enter. First up, Kirkland and Lineback in the Saber Tiger, or Saber Fang as it was called here. All right, so this is the main appeal of tournament mode. Battling opponent after opponent, and earning points to obtain Zoids like this. Behold. You can also switch with the with your partner, but personally, I'd rather have my teammate have the stronger Zoid. So that way they can actually, like, survive. As you can tell, I've been quite busy between, um, give me a sec. 
There we go. I've been uh, quite busy between um, actually sitting down to record this. Hold on a second. There we go. Between trying to record this and, you know, actually, actually recording it. Settings. Hello, Joey. My dog's just chilling out on the floor right now. So, in the settings, you're able to customize your Zoid however you see fit by equipping it with different kinds of weaponry. This is my setup for the Berserk Fury, by the way. Option parts basically allows you... Basically, so weapons are your main means of doing damage, aside from your melee attacks. You can't refill on ammo, so once they run out of ammo, that's it, your hose. Assuming you know how to use melee combat correctly, which luckily I do. Option parts. Parts. They basically do a little something that either affected the Zoid that you're on. For example, the thrusters here increase your Zoid's speed, while the shield, which is what I have equipped, increases your Zoid's defense. There is also landmines, smoke screens, and active camo. Personally, I tend to st stick to the the, um, the shields. And then lastly, subparts, which basically alters your Zoid's stats in some way. The best option part, and the most expensive, is the Ultra Z. And this is why the Ultra Z is considered the best option part. Of course, the drawback is that the Ultra Z is also the most expensive. The shop allows you to purchase whatever Zoid you see fit, as well as whatever weapon and option parts you'd like. For this, getting two Ultra Zs. and equipping one on the Berserk Fury here and the other on the Storm Tyran like so as for those high grade Omega plugs well I'll just give them to the Dark Spiner and Killer Spiner respectively Boop. and By the way, one thing you'll notice is that I have indeed changed the colors of some of the Zoids. <clears throat> now, most of the Zoids you can unlock by playing through the Torment mode, as well as the Story mode, with three exceptions. But I'll get to those three exceptions later on. Here's the map, you can see the enemies, and yourself, and your teammates. Victory condition, total destruction of the enemy Zoid. Defeat condition, severe damage to our own Zoids. Self-explanatory, but and since this is the tournament mode, that's definitely going to be the case. I Let's begin. Luckily, since we have two Ultra Zs equipped onto both the Berserk Fury and the Storm Tyran, these battles should be going by a lot quicker. I also changed the aspect ratio from 4x3, which is what I had it when I initially recorded this, to uh, 16x9, intending to replicate how it would, in a sense, look like, like to record on I piss off Zaber Fang and that's why I like to use the shields. Yeah, you will see me be very aggressive in how I play. Yeah, expect to see that a lot. And there we go, first battle. Um my advice if for tournament mode I should also mention depending on the characters you choose determines which tournament and you'll access. So if you choose Chaotic Century characters, you'd be playing in the Chaotic Century tournament. 
Since I chose New Century Zero characters, here's I'm playing the New Century Zero tournament. Now, at the end of each battle, you are judged based on your time, health, your teammates' health, how many enemies you defeated, your EX, and the results will be how many points you got, as well as your rank. Rankings don't matter, the points are the only thing that really matter. By the way, yes, I did turn off the voices, because the voices in this game aren't super great. Leon Taurus and Brad Hunter in the Shield Liger and Command Wolf, respectively. I know the Shield Liger is one of the more popular Zoids, but I'm going to be honest with you, I'm not a fan of most of the, uh, the, the older Zoid designs. Like, most of my favorite Zoid designs are actually the newer ones, so like Liger Zero and Berserk Fury, for, like, there's a reason I'm using the Berserk Fury. The Berserk Fury is my favorite Zoid, for obvious reasons. Alright, map info, Shield Liger, Command Wolf. But yeah, like, so, Liger Zero and Berserk Fury onwards tends to be where I start liking the Zoid designs, but anything, like, older than that, like the Shield Liger, it's like, yeah, no. Alright, by the way, system is how you save and load your game, by the way, so, there's that. Let's begin. Boom. Rawr. So yeah, uh, the difference being, so the New Century Zero tournament is considered the easy tournament. It's easy mode, essentially, actually, and is the one that's recommended that you start with. By the way, you can use the deep exclusive to tournament mode. You can use the D-pad to give your teammate different commands. Oh my fucking god. Piss her right off, and that shield like is making a beeline for me, ass. Shield like is down. The four commands are support, bombardment, guard, and combat. Bombardment basically means the teammate will attack the enemy from a distance. Combat means your teammate will get right up close to them and just wail the shit out of them. Support means they will keep their distance and back you up. And guard is for, well, defending you. Personally, I stick to combat and bombardment because I tend to be very aggressive in this game. So my mentality is basically just take down the opponent before they get the chance to take me down. Battle 3, Bitcloud and Lena Tauros in the Liger Zero and the D-Bison. By the way, uh, don't expect me to show uh, the other Zoids that I have off until Zoids Fist, I'd say. So, there's that. See, uh, we could probably get something here. Let's get something for the fuse or dragon. Little dragon dude here. Pods and weapon binders. The weapon binders, I'd argue, are the best weapon in the game. Reason being is because they fire both lasers and and missiles. Here's the Fusor Dragon. By the way, you can change the color with your Zoid by pressing the X button here. Like so. Swap out the handguns for the weapon binder. And give them the missile pods. Yeah, that looks pretty cool. <coughs> anyway, so yeah. Uh, it's recommended that you start with the New Century Zero tournament, since that one's the easy mode. Plus, in the New Century Zero tournament, and, and there are no boss zoids, which I will get into when we get there. 
because normally when you start a new game, when you start a new game with the tournament mode, you start off with four Zoids. The Command Wolf, the Attack Cat, the Mulga, and the Cannon Tortoise. The recommended strategy for this, which is one I've personally done, hence why I have a Berserk Fury instead of the starting Zoids, is because the starting the recommended strategy is to sell the Mulga, sell the Cannon Tortoise, this, get a Blade Liger, or sell the Attack Hat, buy whatever option part and equipment you're able to afford, and just use the Blade for the entirety of or most of the New Century Zero tournament, and then keep doing that until you have the Zoids you actually give a shit about. In my case, the Berserk Fury. Of course, uh, when I ended up doing that in this case, because I'm actually not playing on original hardware for this playthrough, I'm instead playing on an emulator. Yeah, this time around I am playing this on an emulator instead of original hardware. And I will say this, there are some things I've noticed. There are some differences I've noticed. Like, for one thing, uh, if you're going to play this on emulator, ditch the um, the original way of... Um, the Ditch the auto, if you will, setting, and set it to either, like, 4x3 or 16x9. Reason for this is because if you don't do the, this... Uh, yeah, it's gonna look hokey as shit. Or, more accurately, it's going to, like... There are instances where the screen, like, shrinks and grows when set to auto. So, yes, just keep it on either 16x9 or 3x4, and you're good. Uh, that's mostly for this game in particular. I don't know if this applies for other games as well. Uh, basically, 16x9 and 3, 4x3 are meant to rep replicate how it would be like playing the game on original hardware on a television. So there's that. Let's check the map. Light is zero. And D-Bison. Shouldn't be too hard. Oh. Okay, that works. <laughs> Rawr. Uh, by the way, for those wondering about my favorite Zoids, I will say this. Most of my favorite Zoids are from the Zoids Wild era, which is like the current era of Zoids. And saying that has basically guaranteed that I now have a bounty on my head from essentially the entirety of the Zoids fandom, but if you ask me, I'm like, fuck them. And there goes like a zero. <laughs> yeah, for that one, I just recommend... The reason why I'm not saying, like, what I'm doing here, because, well, A, the game's already doing that for me, and B, he, with two Ultra Zs, these battles go by so quickly. <laughs> Uh, they're not going to go by as quickly once we get into the later tournaments. There we go. S rank. By the way, well, yeah, I think the, um, the better your score, the better your rank. So there's that. Next up. Jack Sisko and Harry Champ in uh, the Shield Liger and Cannon Tours. I was just talking about the Cannon Tours earlier. But yeah, like when I was playing this uh, on the emulator for the first time, uh, I what I basically had to do was in one of the later battles, I basically ended up just saying fuck it and ditched the Blade Liger in favor of a Genosaur, which is another Zoid that despite being very popular, I'm not a fan of the Genosaur like at all. And in case anyone's wondering which Genosaur in particular, I used this Genosaur. <laughs> yeah, this was the Genosaur I used, albeit in a different color. 
went with a uh, sort of stealth black and blue color scheme for when I was using the Genosaur. But as you can guess, once I got the Berserk Fury, I ditched the Genosaur right away. I just gave it to my teammates, sold the Blade Liger, and called it a day. So there's that. Speaking of the Berserk Fury, I might as well show what colors the Berserk Fury comes in. Here's the default color. I'm surprised this is the default. We have this brown color. Red. Green. A nice silver color. Which doesn't look too shabby. Gold. And my preferred color scheme. The white armor. Because uh, a little bit of trivia. So... The Berserk Fury Motorized Kit that was released here in the States is uh, white in color. In Japan, it was lavender. Um, personally, I think I prefer the white armor since it corresponds with the Liger Zero's armor surprisingly well. And because I'm already here, I might as well also show off the Storm Tyrant's colors. But yeah, um... In terms of my favorite Zoids, Lavender, what looks to be gunmetal here for some reason, green, brown, pink for some reason, white, and of course, red with gold accents, which is its default color. But yeah. Um, in terms of my favorite Zoids, well, the Berserk Fury is obviously my overall favorite. But some of my f other favorite Zoids include the Death Rex, Omega Rex, Xeno Rex, uh, Gil Raptor, Wild Liger, and Beast Liger, and Liger Zero. Like those are just a couple of my uh, favorite Zoids. You may have noticed that most of them are again from the Zoids Wild era, and there's a damn good reason why. <laughs> I just think the designs of the Zoids from Zoids Wild onwards just look better. If you ask me, like, they actually look more like, you know, animals. Like, robot animals, compared to, like, the old school, like, Zoid designs from, like, the 80s and 90s, where they look like, and I'm gonna be honest here, like, Zoids like the Gojolis, Iron Kong, uh, Shield Liger, or, and the like, straight up look like that they fit more in with Battletech than they do with Zoids. So, there's that. Anyway, here's the map. Lightning Sykes and Cannon Tortoise. The Lightning Sykes is another one of those popular Zoids, and I'll admit, I like the design of the Lightning Sykes. But fuck me, does the Lightning Sykes suck in this game. Holy shit, does the Lightning Sykes suck in this game. And there's a reason why. It's a glass cannon. It has good speed. It has a damn good weapon. And that's about it. Otherwise, its armor is made out of tissue paper, and in a game like this, where it's very easy to get gunned down by enemy Zoids, yeah, there's a reason why once I have the Berserk Fury, I don't really use anything else. Uh, which won't be the case completely for this playthrough, but you will see me use the Berserk Fury a lot. I mean, the Berserk Fury is my favorite Zoid after all, so it makes sense. And also, I'm going to say this right now, for as much shit as I'm going to give this game in later parts, I do think Tournament Mode, Battle Legends Tournament Mode, is the best part of it. There goes the Lightning Sykes. <laughs> and there goes the Cannon Tortoise. <laughs> Didn't even put up much of a chance. So yeah... Um, I think I'm going to dedicate, like, each part to four battles in the tournament mode. 
since there's only 12 battles in each tournament. So, I guess with that, we can call it a part here. So, yeah. I think we got ourselves a solid start here. That's rank. Next battle. And also the next part of Battle Legends will have us fighting the next four opponents. With starting with Stroller and Pyrrhus in the Elephander and Rev Raptor. So, with that being said, next time on Zoid's Battle Legends, the redo of Zoid's Battle Legends, we will be taking on Stroller and Pierce. And by extension, their respective Zoids, the Elephander and the Rev Raptor. So, if you enjoyed this part, part and want to see me either praise the tournament mode or dunk on this game, game or just gush about the Berserk Fury a bit more, because I will gush about the Berserk Fury. Like, where do I even begin? Feel free to like and subscribe. And while you're at it, feel free to check out my non-gaming stuff over on Tumblr and Blue Sky. I had posted something a bit more recently, at least at the time I'm recording this. So, until then, see you all for some more Zoids Battle Legends. Bye.